Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing some challenging division. Let me get this set up for you. That's right. We have four challenging division problems. Are you ready to start? Yeah, let's do it. All right. First of all, um, on the side here, I did some it's multiplication of sevens. So if you don't know your sevens, it's a good idea to memorize those. But I wrote them down here just for some reference. Here's the first problem we're going to do, all right? So I have 21. This is the number I need to do the dividing. So I need to do 21 is divided by this number here, 7, all right? So this one's kind of easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. So how many times got to put 7 into 21? I got to lean way back so you can see that. Right here, 7 times 3 equals 21. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 3 right there. Simple enough. Let's go over here and start this one here. How many times can I put 7 into 22? Again, the closest number would be 3. Uno, dos, tres. So I go ahead and put 3 right here. 3 times 7. Now you use multiplication. 3 times 7 equals 21. So I put 21 right here. Then I use subtraction. 2 minus 1 is 1. There's no more numbers to drop down right here. So this right here is going to be my remainder. So I need to put an R, a small r, and then the 1. So I have 3 remainder 1. All right. So that would be like if I had 22 cookies and I need to divide those between 7 people, each person is going to get 3 cookies and then there's going to be one left over. You can give that to me. I love cookies, chocolate chip or peanut butter. Here's, <laughs> here, here's our next problem right here. Can I put 7 into 2? I Usually what I do is when I start this out, because I'm, the bigger the number, sometimes it gets a little scary. Don't worry about that. Just take it step by step. Can I put 7 into 2? No, you can't. Can I put 7 into 20? Yes, you can. How many times? Uh, right here. Two times. So I put the 2 right here. My 2 d tat 2. 2 times 7 would be 14. Subtract 20 minus 14, 6. All right. Then I bring that next number down. Just bring it down. <laughs> Do a little beatboxing if you want to. Put that right here. Yeah, 62. How many times does 7 go into 62? Let's look over here. Looks like 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9, 63. Too big. We got to use 7 times 8. So I'm going to put 8 right here. 8 is usually late. 8 times 7, 56. Right here, 56. Subtract. Got to borrow a little bit. 12 minus 6, 6. Can I put 7 into 6? Can't do it. That is my remainder. No other number to drop down. That's it right there. So we're going to put remainder 6. Ready to do the last one? Yeah, let's do it. Again, how many times does 7 go into 20? Two times. Here's our 2D tattoo. You ever do that dance? The 2D tattoo? The 2D tattoo? The two. Okay, I'll get back to the mathematics. 2 times 7, 14. Subtract. 20 minus 14, 6. Bring that next number down. <laughs> Bring that next number down. 2. Right here. How many times can I put 7 into 62. Eight times? Yeah, I think eight times. Whoa, I'm doing the limbo, aren't I? Eight times right here. Eight times seven? 56. We already did that, didn't we? Yeah, so 62 minus 56, six. We still have one more number to bring down. Just drop it down. <laughs> drop, drop. Drop, drop it right there. How many times does 7 go into 66? All right. 66. Oh, golly. You were so close over here. We can put 9 times. So I'm going to put a 9 right here. 9 times 7, 63. Put the 63 right here. I wonder if you guys, can you guys see that way down there? It's way down there. 63. And then I'll put a 3 right here. That's my remainder. Way down here. Bring that 3. Bring it right up here. Here's my remainder. Three. That wasn't too bad, was it? You guys are math ninjas. 
Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. Make sure you check out my other videos, my other channels, and like always, have a fun day. Adios. Goodbye.